The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me again, first, I have the funniest gay guy, because I don't know very many gay guys, Mr. JP. That's awesome, man. Thank you for that. <laughs> definitely yeah. definitely, definitely don't know any funny ones, anyway. No. Uh, but uh, by popular demand, we have the, the myth, the legend. He is the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball defensive player. Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. <laughs> Woo! Simmer down, shitheads. Uh, <laughs> there's uh, some information that was missing out of that introduction that I am just filling in uh, this week. Uh, the last time we did not clarify that, it lasted four fucking years. <laughs> <And> <laughs> I just want to make sure we're this all on the same page. <laughs> One time deal. <laughs> Until I pay Jeremy uh, after this episode and he comes back for another four. Uh, but anyways, uh, we're back. We're back from vacation. Uh, I was uh, gone a week. Derek is still in the process of flying back, I think, if yep. I remember correctly. Should be back tonight. Boy, okay. are his arms tired. <laughs> Boom! Still got it! Still got it, motherfuckers! There you go. I gave you the, the hi-hat. Um, but yeah, so uh, Derek will be back next week. Uh, but yeah, all of us have been on vacation except for kind of JP. <laughs> yeah, I've been watching Derek's freaking house, man. What the hell is that? Like yeah. y'all go on vacation and I'm poor, so I have to fucking watch your house. I know, cool it's, man. That's the way it is. Uh, cool. Jeremy's been on vacation for like I, two fucking months. Yeah, yeah, that's Basic, right. They basically, <laughs> basically, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, so listen, it's a full time job being a bad motherfucker. All right, <laughs> that's true. I ain't got time for this shit. Yeah, but we do have a uh, fun filled episode again for you guys this week. If this is the very first time you've ever listened to this podcast, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and current events and all kinds of other stuff. Uh, and we like to make jokes about anything that doesn't have to do with sports or current events. This is also an adult podcast, so if you do not like foul language or loud noises, you're in the wrong place get the fuck out of here thank you and goodbye it's been a couple of weeks since i've been able to say that so i gotta struggle through it but i got it done yeah, yeah that deserves a high <laughs> it sure, it does. Does. sure it does it's not a joke uh but anyways uh we do have an excellent show we've got some sports to go over that we will uh, kind of brief through because there's a little shitload of it since we haven't been here for two weeks um i got a new segment uh, which is called Love It or Hate It. It's basically... Hate it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that was easy. <laughs> Next. <Just> one <laughs> question long. Yeah. Uh, we got Google this. Questions and preguntas. And as always, a draft. But we also have a very special What's in the Box for Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Uh, and then, as always, we'll uh, wrap this bitch up with a shitty situation. Uh, but before we do that... We've all been on vacation, and we need to go over what the fuck we did. So as anticlimactic as I can possibly get, JP, what did you do? <laughs> Why do I? You got, <laughs> because I wasn't on vacation. Now. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like watched Derek's dog. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I watched Derek's dog. Yeah. Uh, smoked a lot of pot and went bowling several times. No kidding. You smoked um, a lot before a lot. you got here. I can smell it. No, I, I know. I it don't was, know. It was really good, too. One of the guys at bowling last night, I walked in, and started unpacking my shit and he's like man somebody needs a new drug dealer because <laughs> that stuff smells like shit yeah. and i was like it may smell like shit but let me assure you my drug dealer is doing a fine job <laughs> i don't care what it smells like it feels real good <laughs> you, you smell like a skunk jeremy thought my dog got sprayed whenever he walked in i didn't know i was 50 50 on it 50 /50. And, okay. and while you may not have been on vacation i do like to think of your house as probably just furnished in adirondack chairs <laughs> and so 
<laughs> yeah. Just something from, you know, big lots or something. Yeah. And uh, so I like to think you're on permanent vacation. Yeah. So, yeah, technically, he's not wrong. <laughs> and Derek's house oh, did, is a lot did, nicer than the place I'm did, staying. Did so I, uh, it, was, it was actually really did I, nice. Did I, I'm a little too close to the mark on that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It was either it was either laugh and make fun of myself uh-huh. or cry. Yeah. And I, <laughs> Wishing you had Adirondack Yeah, I wish I had Adirondack cheers. But speaking of bowling, dude, I heard you bowled a three hundo. A while back, yeah, I've bowled several in my. Oh, my I didn't career. know that. Yeah, I thought that was like a, a thing. I thought no. it was like a special thing. Uh, I, I, my it was the first one I threw this year. Oh, okay. Which is awesome. It's I almost March. shot another one Monday night. No, oh, yeah, last night I almost shot three hundred again, but almost doesn't count. Okay, almost. My old roommate bowled a two ninety eight, and I always thought that that was just fucking amazing. Turns out you've done several three hundred. That's two better. <laughs> that's two. <laughs> yeah. That's two better than my roommate. The, Fuck that guy. Here's what the the thing about bowling a two ninety eight is: you have to bowl eleven strikes in a row. And then and fuck then off fuck the last, up one. The last yeah. one. How pissed off would you be? Yeah, I've done it. I have done it. I've yeah. done less. I've done 297s, 296s. I still think it's all luck. Yeah, I do too. Mm-hmm. No You're skill involved. No skill involved. No, it's kind of like golf. It requires goofy pants and a fat ass per Adam Sandler. Basically, that's it. Yeah. Anything else you do at all? I have bowling clubs. I will know. You do? Yeah, I got a set. Real nice. <laughs> Real nice. Pings. <laughs> Pings. They, they bend. They're, uh, made, they're made out of bamboo. Uh-huh. <laughs> His wife made them, if that's yeah, the case. Yeah, she did. They're oh, made okay. out of, in that case, they're made out of Christmas tree trunks. <laughs> yeah. do, you, do you know how tough it is to get a T in a fucking bowling lane? <laughs> it is. It is. You need a, a big hammer. <laughs> I ruined my pitching wedge. <laughs> Just God trying to get it. it in there. Beat it in with a hammer. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, I had the time of my life. Okay. To, Jeremy, I, I, how about I, you? And I've no. never <laughs> felt this way before. I, yes, uh, I, yes, swear. I swear. I know. It's the truth. You done? No. There's okay. a lot more of the song to go. There's, it's like a four-minute long song. Oh, okay. So we just sit tight. I think we should do the lift. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Oh, that uh, should be the new show logo. In no. Just JP holding Scotty up. <laughs> no, I don't want it. Dirty dancing no. style. Oh, first of all, I guess if uh, if and you are Derek's in the corner, right? If you are watching <laughs> us on down. on Spotify or YouTube, you can actually see the new backdrop, the new studio. Uh, it's not done yet. But I thought it was uh, pretty fucking dope. We got Michael Jordan over here, and then we got the one and only Chris Farley over here. So that's uh, I think you should leave it with just shit everywhere. Uh, Maybe that's what Uh, I would do if I was you. It's been a lot of work. Um, but yes, we did imagine. that. You painted a fucking wall. I did. Jack. I did paint it and did a bad and job. And moved the desk. And moved, that's moved literally the all he did. Yeah. Trying yeah. to give us and more room, man. Yeah, but you said it was a lot of hard work. It was. It was a lot it of work. It does not look that way. Jay the dude has the musculature of wet spaghetti. <laughs> like, that's okay? true. He's, that's a good just, point. God, man. he can't. This is a heavy fucking good table. I mean, yeah. Oh, I guarantee that she helped him move this. Mm-hmm. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, I, I made she her probably just put it on her back and hawked it over here. Are you fucking kidding? I made her do everything. Yeah. There you go. Like you should. Like you should. Tell me like you the wall. Should. Your wife is a fantastic painter, by the way. She, she is. She is. She didn't. Yeah, she did do all she that. She can cut in and not get any fucking drips on the ceiling or anything. I know. <laughs> I know. Good. Nobody can sit to <laughs> see it. That but corner the, over you see there. It's horrible. <laughs> Yeah, that corner up there. Was that you? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the part Scotty did. <laughs> that's exactly right. <laughs> the wrong wall. But Stay in the lines, you fucking child. <laughs> Jesus. That's why we can't give you crayons. That's the wall is not paint by numbers. <laughs> I know. Oh, Watercolors. Just give him a fucking brush with water on it. <laughs> yeah, that'd be better. Uh, but no, I had an excellent time in Angel Fire, New Mexico. I do have a story. So we, we actually left a day early. We left in the middle of the night. So we drove all the way through the pan handle of oklahoma and the most boring drive in the middle of new mexico yeah and it's eight and a half hours it was dull as fuck but we did it on purpose so we could have an extra day of snowboarding so that was like a big huge perk so we uh we snowboarded angel fire the first day and then the second day i have wanted to go to taos my entire freaking life because it's one of the nicest mountains in in uh, the united states really and so it's an hour and a half away we get up at the ass crack of dawn and head to Taos, New Mexico. So we drove an hour and a half, bought lift tickets. Mind you, it's $200 a person. Two hundred dollars. Well, he's for always the bragging day. about how much money he's got. I oh no, wiped my ass with two hundred. You were gonna yeah. fuck two hundred dollars. I had steam going I, out my ears because of you this. You need reimbursed for that? I can fucking pay you out right oh, now. I'll oh, I'll tell Jesus. you. I'll tell you. So whenever you pull into Taos, check. the building that you get your lift tickets from actually block the lift. You can still see the mountain, but you can't see the lift at all. 
we go through, we buy our lift tickets, walk out, and the line to get on the, the main chairlift at the bottom of the mountain was ridiculously long. This is on a fucking Thursday. There were like 12 people in line. No, there was, there was over a 1,000. It Jeez. was forever. It took us an hour and a half to get onto the lift, and I we don't know what's going on. We have no idea why it took this fucking long. And so I, we end up having to separate just to get Probably because there was a 1,000 people ahead of you. <laughs> well, that that's seems what I'm, like a really good reason. That's what I'm getting at. We get on the lift, and I'm with total strangers, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, guys, this is a Thursday. What would a fucking weekend look like? And we had just they had just got a shitload of snow. Turns out on the backside of the mountain, avalanche. And then all of a sudden, I started hearing the dynamite going off, like blowing off the snow. Like, holy fuck. He goes, yeah, this is the only chairlift that's working all day. Are and you talking may- about that weird Chevy hybrid SUV thing? Yeah, yeah. They, they had one of those back there. Yeah, they had one of those in New Mexico. Them. They don't They're normally have those in New Mexico. <laughs> no. And people are like, let me see the fucking avalanche. <laughs> no. It's like kind of a truck, but not really. Yeah. So It's like one of them El Caminos. Um, right. It's, it's like a truck El Camino. So anyways, what? Uh, they what uh, now? they ended up closing down the lift not long after we went down one run for 200 bucks. Well, I was fucking steam I think it's off. hilarious. And they and they wouldn't allow you to re, to get any kind of refund. Yeah, for go it. fuck yourself. Fuck. What are you going to do? I'd sue not Chevy. Not come back. <laughs> sue That's Chevy? I would sue Chevrolet. But you will also be very very proud and 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 excited to hear that in my in my world of snowboarding, I had snowboarders come up to me and comment on my bindings oh, so many times. Oh so fuck yeah, those are my people, and I'm so looking at yeah, you. Good for you, man. Snowboarders are fucking stupid. <laughs> they you just proved awesome. your point. They're Congratulations. Do, do yourself a favor. You got a, a phone there. Look up the words proud and excited, <laughs> and find out the definitions, <laughs> and you'll find out you use the entire wrong words. I know, uh, but no, it Board? was <laughs> yeah. snow and Board. Uh, Full of disdain <laughs> okay. right now, annoyed, uh, aggravated. But you know, you know that feeling that you get, JP, whenever you're just that, get peace and no stress whatsoever. It's like the best feeling in the world. That was what I felt. I I had I, the best. That's why I smoke marijuana, man. Oh, I know. That's exactly why I smoke dope. That okay. Well, I have a different reaction for cheaper than two hundred bucks a pop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For two hundred bucks, I can get high a lot. That's true. And whenever I want, I don't have to wait in a line. Yeah, I don't have to buy expensive bindings. Correct. I mean, <laughs> and really, boots and boots. And no boots. Yeah, I've already got the boots. Oh, and he can it. get online and look at all the pictures of avalanches. He wants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might even buy one like mm-hmm. an older model. And speaking with of, all the money you save on fucking ski, boots. right? Speaking of older model, I will say this. This is the first year that I actually felt like, oh man, I'm getting old. I, I, this is the first. I don't time. want to talk about that. Oh man, fuck, please. my Dude, knees. You're still so young. Bro. Oh, Wait until you get to be my age. Might great. I suggest DDP yoga? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no shit. Not a sponsor. Uh, but no, we went down some sketchy shit. I had a blast. Uh, good, so man. Thank you. To I'm glad you had went. fun. I, I really did. am. My wife really had a blast, am. too. So it was I a good time. I was really hoping you'd break your neck, man. I really <laughs> we, was. We hope that every year. <laughs> yeah. and That's kind of a long-standing wish. I got fucking close. You did? Oh, I oh, did. Oh, man. Uh, we, we ended up having to hike to a particular run on the mountain, and it was sketchy as shit. But I made it. So, Somewhere yeah. there is a wishing well that owes me four dollars back, <laughs> and also a Mexican man that owes me five hundred and fifty because yeah. I paid him to take you out. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, well. that's the problem. He he you couldn't pick the wrong Mexico. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you should have picked a new Mexican man. Uh, uh, there's where I screwed up. I yeah. well, I found him outside the Home Depot. Oh. There, there's some guy in, in Juarez going, "Where the fuck is he?" <laughs> I think he basically just sheet rocks he's, the place. He's just probably. looking. He's just looking for somebody with a snowboard. Yeah. <laughs> Mexico. <laughs> yeah. He's going to show up anytime now. Yeah. Now, this guy has these special bindings. <laughs> Look for the bindings. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Well, that I'm was supposed to get excited about it. Yeah, <laughs> and proud. That was. If you see my some douchebag really excited about his bindings, that's your guy. Yeah, I know. I Take know. out his knees. That's right. Uh, but that's my week. Uh, Jeremy, how has the last couple of months been for you? It's great. <laughs> fucking <laughs> best. Best of my fucking life. <laughs> really? You know, I went for two and a half months and never once heard about bindings, <laughs> <laughs> except well, on the S and pages. I was going to say he yeah. obviously wasn't watching the podcast then because <laughs> that's all we've been talking about oh yeah oh yeah no oh no. <laughs> i forgot that there was a podcast uh, oh ouch 
Did he miss us a little man, bit? Not at all. Uh, I started to, to watch the first episode. Couldn't help but notice I'd been replaced by a latent homosexual. Latent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> and so Shit. I just lost interest. Yeah, yeah, uh, that'll do that, it. That that'll a, do it every time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I actually <laughs> got to go on a vacation for a first time in several years now. Did you buy special bindings to go on it? <sighs> <laughs> no, not the high out again. We're gonna have to take that away from you. No, I love being in charge of the buttons. Yeah. I don't know why the fuck I said yes. <laughs> I don't know why. I said like yes. I don't have better shit to do. I know. Ah, it's fun. It's I could, mental health. I could take my fucking lift fees and go buy some Adirondack chairs. <laughs> Trust me, they're worth every penny. I could buy wood and make my own Adirondack chairs. I could. No, that do would be so many cool. things. Yeah. I could do so many things. Nice. No, I'm um, sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Go ahead. It is my turn to talk. Yeah. No, uh, me and my wife uh, went down to Florida. I finally got to take her on that trip I've been promising, where we went to uh, Universal Studios. Mm -hmm. uh, she's been wanting to go to Harry Potter, the wizarding world of Harry Potter. Yeah. Uh, it's really fucking cool. Yeah? Yeah. Um, it, I And you're not a huge Harry Potter fan, are you? I'm actually probably a bigger one having done really? this. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was really fucking cool. I mean, Universal Studios is... I had so much more fun there than... Uh, it was both great and awful. Uh, I it, I enjoyed it much more than any trip I've ever taken to any of the Disney parks. Wow. Uh, uh, we stayed at a resort on the property, and when you do that, it included with your... I, I would say free, but it's definitely included in the price of the fucking room. Um, See, he's you get too. Express. Yeah. Oh, I know. I'm the only poor one. Oh, I understand. Yeah, I, I, I get it. I didn't pay near as much for mine, and I got to go more than once. Nice. Um, and uh, no, there were no Chevy Avalanches. <laughs> oh, damn it. None. Not one. I No matter how much I tried to bribe people working, <laughs> show, me show me a Chevy, a Chevy hybrid Avalanche. SUV thing. It was uh, such a piece of shit truck. Anyways, go ahead. Well, they're not really a truck. Scotty. I yeah. know they're kind they're of more elegant than yeah. that. Yeah, they're gay. Anyways, um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, it came with this. They call it an express pass, which it doesn't take you to the front of the line. You get your own fucking line, basically, and you get priority over everybody else. So we never wait. Poor people. Yeah, you get priority over all the other poor people. Dude, like, if, we could barely scrape the money together for this trip. These assholes with these express passes. <laughs> we're sitting here with four hours worth of wait. Oh. They they sincerely do kind of make them out of reach for anybody who's not staying on the property. Uh, they're $150 per day per person for these express passes on top of, I think it's $120 to get in. Oh, fuck. But wow. if you get a fucking room there, well, by the, if you factor in that we each had one and they're $150 per person per day, our room didn't hardly cost shit. Um, <laughs> wow. But uh, we stayed at the Hard Rock. Oh, which, cafe? No, actually. Oh. Uh, they have a Hard Rock Cafe there. It's nowhere near the fucking Hard Rock Hotel. <laughs> which, well, I mean, it, it's it's a 15-minute walk. Wow. It's wow. probably close huh. to a mile away. Jesus. It's on what they call the City Walk, which there's two main parks of Universal. Shitty walk. The mm -hmm. Shitty Walk, yeah. Nice. I Believe me, I made that joke way more times than I should have. <laughs> for, for a guy who used to be a stand-up comedian, I made that joke way too many fucking times. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, there's like two parks, and in between the two entrances, there's a place called the City Walk with all these restaurants and bars and shit. Uh, but no, the uh, the Harry Potter world, it was so fucking cool. It, and they, they like, okay, you, you start off in the Universal Studios, and then there's a place called Islands of Adventure. It's a whole separate park. And half the Harry Potter shit is in there, but we start off in the regular Universal Studios. Mm -hmm. A lot of detail here, I know. Uh, <laughs> and you're just walking along, and all of a sudden you come to this place that like, obviously is made up to look like a London city street, but they don't really tell you what's going on. Like you're, you're pretty sure you know what's going on, like that triple-decker bus is out there, but there's no signs or anything that says, you know, you're in the wizarding world of Harry Potter. You just, there's like this. You just know. <laughs> well, yeah. there's, there's like this entryway that looks like it goes to public restrooms or something. And you just walk in there and you go around this little partition and you come out and just all of a sudden you're fucking in Diagon Alley. Wow. It, it hits you just all of a sudden. Like both me and my, I've, I've never felt. Did you cry? To, I, <laughs> Maybe. 
He looks like he's going to cry now. Crying, no. Did I have a reaction that I didn't think I would have? <laughs> <laughs> Pardon the expression, but this is the queerest I've yes, ever been. Yes, that's what I was going for. I literally went, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the problem is we went for four days. Mm -hmm. And thanks to these express passes, could have easily done it in two. Yeah. <laughs> we wound up riding the same shit over and over again. <laughs> now, I will say that uh, Universal Studios has some of the finest roller coasters I have ever ridden. Really? They're amazing. They got four, like, really, really good ones. D did you get on Avatar? I heard that is fucking phenomenal. Uh believe that's at Disney. Oh, it may be at Disney. You're right. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. That's enough out of you, Scotty. My bad. Yeah, yeah, no shit. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm, it's my time. But I tell did. me, it's my time. did you yeah. do the Avatar? <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah. You damn cool. right I did. No, I, uh, I, if it was there, we didn't see it, and we combed that fucking place. My wife wears a, a Fitbit, and uh, we walked 12 and a half miles every day we were there. And here's what's really great is uh, we got there on a Sunday. Went to the park Sunday night, went to the park Monday. Tuesday morning, I wake up fucking fever. Oh. I got sick as shit. But we paid a bunch of money for this shit, so I wasn't about to sit it out. Mm -hmm. and so he just went and got everybody sick. Yep. Yeah. I, the, the thing that I will motherfuck people up and down for, <laughs> I yep. went and did. A and kid. I, my wife had to go down to the little gift shop in there and buy some DayQuil so that I could tough my way through it. And, of course, they don't sell regular packs of DayQuil. They sell individual single packs. Ah. For $5.49. <laughs> we She tallied it up. We spent $58 on oh, DayQuil, DayQuil and NyQuil. I believe it. Whoa. That's crazy, Cause it, Yeah, it's it's like 8 bucks for a yeah. single serving of yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you would have thought if we were all frugal people, we would have uh, gotten an Uber to the closest Walgreens, which is like a mile and a half away. And saved and $35. Yeah, yeah, but we just couldn't be bothered with that shit. We were on <laughs> fucking vacation. You should have just fucking <laughs> made some appear, yeah. man. And and the problem with taking DayQuil is it's actually when you're sick, it's the worst thing you can actually do for yourself. Because then you're awake and sick. Well, not only that, but like, you know, the the coughing the sneezing runny nose the puking diarrhea that is your body's way of getting rid of that shit and this that shuts that down so you're just holding it all in and you're just postponing the inevitable seems he, seems legit he's the science guy man. Uh -huh. okay. uh, yeah um yeah it prolonged that fucking cold for way longer that than, sucks than i should have had it and uh and he still has it. Ha ha. <laughs> yeah, but I, I got to see one of my, I, I've got a new, a new addition to my list of people that it pisses me off that they exist. Oh. Uh, an Instagram mom. A what? An, an Instagram, Instagram mom. mom? A, a mom who basically Instagrams uses their child. child. Oh, dude, they're everywhere. Fucking TikTok prop. ones too. What? You know what he's saying. Yeah. You know what he's saying. It's, Th this is it, a real fucking thing? Oh, Dude, yeah. you haven't seen? No. She, oh. She, not everywhere. They're, they're yeah, in this magical place. She's got her kid all decked out in all the Harry Potter gear. She's probably 10. And the kid cannot enjoy anything that's happening because it's just constant. Stand over there by that. Now pose this way. Pose that way. And what was really fucking creepy about it was it was almost like, sexually seductive poses oh, like, no. like I mean, they get more hits that way and oh, God. I, that's all that she was after it we got behind oh. her in a rot at a ride and twice somebody who worked there had to go ma'am we need to keep the line going she had no problem holding everybody oh, up and fuck. she's up there with serial squatters and uh flat earthers as oh. far as people who just oh. don't need to be on my planet anymore oh um they're yeah. like dance moms, so, but way worse. That sucks. I yeah, hope that. Yeah, they, that I mean, is, they're the same type of people who would enter. Her kid's too old to go into those stupid pageants now, so this is how she has to live vicariously through her kid. That is going to be the next like group of kids that kill their parents. Like That's what it's going to end up being. Let's hope. Good for her, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> good, good for that kid in the future. Yeah. yeah. Kudos to her. 
<laughs> P- P- Patronus charm uh-huh. on his mom or mom or whatever the fuck it's called. But aside from being sick, it was the best vacation we've taken in a long time. Well, it's good, man. I'm uh, glad you had a good time. Let's see. Other people, they want to know. They always want to know what I'm watching. Oh, Have yeah. you guys started watching The Last of Us? No, don't do Never. it. This is the last week, and then I get to Coming binge up is it. the finale. Yes, and then Never, I get to binge Never, ever it. played the game. Never, I, ever I didn't either. I didn't. seen the show. Never, ever wanted to. I was halfway through the season before I found out it was a video game. Yes. Yeah. It's it's <clears throat> more or less Walking Dead, but different. Um, it's Pedro Pascal, who's the Mandalorian. Mandalorian. Uh, also gay. He seems like he should have an accent, but he doesn't. Is he really? Yeah. yeah. he's Is he gay? Uh no, I don't believe so. Oh. I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> I, I meant the Mandalorian. Oh, <laughs> okay. Or oh, yeah. any Star Wars related bullshit. I can tell you this: I've never uh, in every episode of Mandalorian I've ever seen, never once seen him crushing puss. Ne- <laughs> never once. <laughs> never right. once seen him slap a guy in the ass so he's, once. Oh. He's got to be gay. Yeah, he sure be. he sure wrestles around a lot of dudes. Yeah, he does. But uh, and he won't show his face. So Check. at least uh-huh. what what do you at least think of the Last of Us show? Love it. Love it. Absolutely love it. That that makes me happy because uh, some people say there, it's like... There a, is one episode that it, it, at first it's like, oh, quit ramming your fucking agenda down my throat. But then, oh my God, this is a great fucking episode. Yeah. And it's really fucking good. I think I, I, I know which one you're, I yeah. think, I think I know which one you're talking about. Mac Offerman? Rock, uh, yeah, I was going to say Ron Swanson's in it. Yeah. Yeah, that one. I, yeah, I he's in it as Ron Swanson, oddly <laughs> enough. <laughs> he's <laughs> actually not far off. Um, <laughs> but no, you. it's it's a great show. And uh, how about Oak Island? What about it? Have you, have you been watching and keeping up? Are you, are you up to date? Uh, yeah. They're, yeah, I have. They're finding wood. They sure are. <laughs> Still. Man, that, what if, I, I like Is to that think. A thing? Dude, yes, dude. This this is like the one thing that They're, Jeremy and I are are equal or both addicted to, and it's watching this stupid fucking show where people claim that there's this treasure. At, there's in no this treasure, island. bro. D- d- there's <clears throat> something. There's, there's nothing. There is something down there. No, there's not. They keep digging down a hundred feet and pulling up wood timber pieces. Somebody was down there doing something because wood doesn't grow. That yeah, the far. producers. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> they're, they're hiding wood. Yeah, I. But yeah. Anyway, but, anyway, but it's all being overseen. I, I, I have decided another person who I hate uh, oh. is Laird Niven. Who's that? Oh, he's the, yeah, the he's a actual dick. archaeologist. I don't know that he's a dick. He's just lifeless personality. I, like if he was on a a match like match.com or something they would be like we've found your perfect match and it's a bucket of wet socks <laughs> have fun you two and unfortunately you paid with a coupon so you don't get the bucket there you go just so socks. uh yeah just socks uh but anything else you've been doing at all there jeremy uh no but i did want to throw something out there our, okay. our buddy matt yeah yoga matt i cryo uh he is a finalist candidate for the uh uh what is it the uh God damn it. Lymphoma and Leukemia Society Visionary of the Year, hey. which if that doesn't get you laid, I don't know what will. Yeah. But uh, to help raise money for it, here, here's what a fucking lunatic he is. <laughs> <laughs> for the next 11 weeks, he's going to run 11 marathons. What? Over 11 weeks. Jesus Christ. Three of the weeks, he can't find sanctioned marathons, so he's just going to go out and run 26.2 <laughs> Because oh, that's just what he does. That's how he spends his fucking Saturdays anyway. Only that's a pretty short run, actually, for him. I'm sure, yeah. Um, I see him running up and down down the street here in town all the time. Dude, I don't do anything for 26 minutes. No. <laughs> Not 26, 26 miles. 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 I'll drive yeah. that oh, far. Yeah. I flew yeah. almost twice that far to get to Florida. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> so fuck you, Matt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and boy, were my arms tired. Hey. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you you kind of got the right button there. We don't give daddy that button, all right? Um, Sorry. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> I'll give you whatever button I want. But anyways, the he's raising money for this whole thing, and I don't have all the details as far as where people can donate, but I, once I have that information, Scotty, I will get it to you. If okay. you could put it on our website sure. and share that along. I can. That would be awesome. And I do uh, also want to give a, another shout out. I know it's been a long time since so we talked about it, but battlecorncarepackages.com. Uh, contacted me. They've got yeah. they've got a uh, a dance that's coming up, uh, and their website is still a link in our bio on TikTok or any of our bios. Is uh, it go a, check an exotic dance? No, 
it is not. Uh, it's to help raise money for those kids in need. So uh, go check that out as well. All right. Uh, but yeah, well, if that's all you got, we're going to move on to some. Is that uh, all I got? I talked for the last half hour. This is totally true. Yeah. Um, we got I a lot thought of we were going to do a short episode. We're, nah, it's going to be. Yeah, it's not going to happen. I don't know how to do short. No, nope, neither do I. Um, but uh, we do uh, got a lot of stuff to get to. But before we do that, we're going to give a shout out to our sponsor, which is manscaped.com. They make excellent products to help keep your balls and butthole and cock clean and groomed it's much more attractive. stay ready dude you have to it's At much all times it's much better looking that way uh it's just this yeah uh, get rid of all the hair down there at least make it groomed make it look nice and classy uh right jp oh yeah sometimes i touch my own no oh, that's good after i get done that's nice getting all, oh, i'm sure yeah. you do that's what uh-huh. really sucked about about being sick on vacation because <laughs> <laughs> what you did i was, you I was ready for whatever through i took my ps5 controller <laughs> If my wife was down for it, we were going to have a three-way. Oh. And uh, she wasn't, it turns out, <laughs> at all. Um, and thanks to the illness, neither was I. Well, uh, if And we, we spent all our hooker money on DayQuil, so. There you go. There you go. Damn. Well, you can, uh, you can uh, try to go out and get the lawnmower 4.0. Maybe that would help your uh, your case. Maybe next year or next. Time. I should have had that Instagram mom take a picture of my dong <laughs> just to show her how neat and nice you, it was. You could have put, put it up next to her kid for <laughs> sizing purposes. There you put, a, go. F- put a fucking Hufflepuff robe on it. <laughs> Hufflepuff robe. Uh, Stick a wand right in the hole. Yeah. Sound myself. Oh God. Uh, but <laughs> check out manscaped.com. They have the lawnmower 4.0, which is a ball uh, trimmer that is safe. Um, they also, uh, and it has an adjustable LED light and a docking station to help you charge it uh, and put it on your counter so that way your guests know that you shave your balls. Um, they also now have a new beard trimmer. I know that. They have a whole bunch of other products that you can check out at manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES, get 20% off your order and free shipping. That helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know that we're doing these commercials word for word and not getting plugs to things like Harry Potter and um, uh, Universal, sounding. <laughs> Universal Studios or mm-hmm. Sounding. Okay. Yes, not associated with Universal Studios in any way. <laughs> in any way. Or yeah. Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, a uh, little bit of sports news. Obviously, there's a lot of uh, uh, things going on. We'll try to get through them here pretty quick. Obviously. Yeah. Um, spring training uh, for baseball is going on right now. And uh, we had talked about uh, the shift rules in baseball, um, that you cannot do that this year uh, in the infield. And they are basically. Uh, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> yeah. Proceed. Okay. So they are based, the teams are still doing the shift, only they're taking away the left fielder and they're moving everybody over to where it is exactly what it was before, except they have another player in the infield now playing third base. So their whole rule change didn't do a goddamn thing. But why would they say you can't shift? Because they're fucking idiots. They're t- they're basically trying to make it a more offensive sport. And if somebody is a pole hitter and that's all they can do, then they're then you you're going to play them that way. Of and course. so they made it illegal for infielders to do the shift to a certain point. It's dumb as shit. So they just moved the outfielders. Another here. reason why I don't watch baseball. Yeah, the it whole name of the game was hit them where they ain't. Uh, not anymore. Yeah, there was a lot of play. So, okay, they're what, they're bringing in an outfielder? No, so yeah, now what they're doing is basically left field is moving over to center field and uh, center field is moving over to like right field sort of and then they're taking that right fielder and pushing him all the way up into the grass to where so he's So basically set. National League just found a new way to do a double switch. Correct, yeah. Um, it, so. Yeah, <laughs> but anyways, it's just, it's stupid. I, I would fun. like to think just to have pissed Derek off that they – that that they changed the rule to allow them to bring in a 10th guy for when they wanted to shift. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why not? Kind of got a DH. A in rover. There. Yeah, DH. Just make the DH go out there and play. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, moving on to uh, football, uh, there's going to be a lot of movement coming up here in the next couple of days. It's, it's just going to happen. Derek Carr signs with the New Orleans Saints. Do you think that makes them better? Awesome. I think it's Absolutely great. it makes them better. I'm s- I – I'm so excited to see what he can do there. I, I think that is the most absolute perfect fit. Oh, I'm so excited. I am, I'm so excited. I'm, like, I'm happy for him because Me of the too. way how dirty that the Raiders did him. Oh, I'm I hope so he goes excited, and man. fucking I hope just, he goes off. Oh, dude. I hope he goes off. Me too. too. How about you there, Jeremy? Yep. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I mean, 
<laughs> they're certainly not worse with him. No. Um, time will tell, but I've always kind of liked Derek Carr. Same. Same. Me too. Yeah. Uh, Lamar Jackson may be on the move from Baltimore. There was a whole bunch of rumors that were sounding like he may actually go to Washington and that play for the Commanders. Right. That seems right. I'm going to make a very bold statement right now. I have secretly thought that Lamar Jackson is not that great of a quarterback. You secretly have thought that? I think everybody in the world knows <laughs> that. I, that is not a secret. I, I really think he's he awful. Is, he is overrated. I'm not going to say he's I'm not gonna say he's. He can awful. run. That's it, dude. He, That's it. he can't throw the ball for shit. I, he's I, proven I agree. It. You're, I, he's proven it over and over. And I think that if he does go to a different team, it's going to be fully exposed i really think that i mean and maybe maybe he proves me wrong maybe i'm nah, fucking wrong nah. but i don't think I don't so, think so man. send them to washington send them someplace but i really i think that's going to probably be the the end of his like superstar no i dumb agree deal, i 100 so. agree what about you jeremy i don't know if it's going to be the end of his superstar like when he won the mvp yeah I think he kind of had he he understood his limitations and he worked within them mm -hmm. and and was kind of a run first guy and then when he like felt like he could tell everybody see I can pass I can pass then he started thinking of himself as a passing quarterback which is just not his game um, I think he needs to he bought into his own hype yeah I think I do too okay, I, I think if that. he can get back to what he was doing and doing what he does well and sticking run. to that. You know, he can he can throw short passes. He can dump it off. He can hit wide fucking open guys. He's not going to thread the needle. He's not a Patrick Mahomes. He's right. not. He He's just, you know, he, I, I wouldn't even say he's a Jalen Hurts. I was just he, getting ready to say, he, Jalen Hurts has has basically a similar style, but Jalen Hurts is better. He, he's not even a running he's back. Basically can throw. He's basically a Ray Finkel. Ray Finkel, yeah. He, he's he a Ray is. Finkel. He's definitely a Finkel. He's got a lot of Fink in him. But... <laughs> Uh, well, and that's probably because he, he throws the ball laces out. Right. Yeah. Of course yeah. he does. Yeah, you should never throw the ball laces no, out. He, he throws a knuckle pass. Yeah. I, I yeah. never understood that. It's very unorthodox. It is. Um, and it doesn't work. But he's not even a running back who can throw. He's a, a defensive tackle who can <laughs> throw. He is a, throw. an enormous fucking man. Yeah, he is. And if he can just get back to his strengths, I think he'll be fine wherever S he goes. Strengths. You need to say it right. Strength. Strengths. 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 <laughs> like, like Harold Reynolds. That's right. Uh, but uh, Geno Smith signs an extension for Seattle. Good for fucking him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I okay. mean. Cool. Comeback player of the year. Damn cool. right. Cool. I sure would take him over Russell Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you kind of fucked there. For like five years. Yeah. But yeah. you know what? Russell kind of turned it around. No, he did <laughs> not. Just fucking no, kidding. he did he, not. He's clearly not the long-term solution, though. He clearly has Alzheimer's. <laughs> <laughs> he clearly has some kind of degenerative disease. He's got something mentally yeah, fucked man, in Yeah, man. Something, something is not right I there. Well, he's a black dude named Gino. <laughs> that... That guy, that guy's, that guy's a, good. He thinks yeah. he's Italian. No, no, Gino. No, we're, talking we're talking about, about, uh, we're talking about Russell, Russell Wilson. Wilson being oh, Russ Wilson. Mentally fucked in the head. Yeah. Yeah. You talk about a guy that bought into his own hype. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. I mean, he is just straight up fucking delusional. Him and the owners of the Broncos. That's who bought in. That's right. Yeah. Idiots. Uh, speaking of wackos as well, uh, Aaron Rodgers talking with the New York Jets. Hear me out. Oh. Uh. I think if this happened last year, he's not giving the New York Jets a fucking minute of his time. He does not want to go someplace that he thinks they won't make the playoffs or have an opportunity to win the Super Bowl. But the Jets were much more improved last year. Now they have some very viable wide receivers to throw to. He may end up in New York, and I don't think Aaron Rodgers is spectacular but I think he's good enough to make him go to the playoffs next year. That's what I think. Here's why I don't think he does. Okay. He doesn't like all the negative media attention that he gets in Green Bay. Ooh, New York what is a fucking York. jungle. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just going to be jungle. He, he will not be able Where to. Where dreams are made of. It sure is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. New, New York. York. Oh, yeah. New right. York. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we get it. Yeah, we get it. Yeah. We were playing along. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, I don't know. But I was uh, trying to think of the next line and it turned out to be New York. New York. <laughs> New York. <laughs> uh 
Uh, last one, we'll move on to something else. Uh, but Derrick Henry is being shopped by the Tennessee Titans. Smart move, dumb move. It's really all they have. They've got to do something to. They're stagnant. Does that? Don't yeah. you agree? They've yeah. got to do something, and yeah. I think that that's what they have to do with what they need to do, whatever that may be. I don't think that's a bad idea. They legitimately have one superstar player on that offense. It's not Tannehill. Tannehill's no, not a, a, a five-star not, quarterback. He's, he's not, not a, horrible. I he's like not bad, but he's he's not, bad. he's not great. And, he's and no Russell Wilson. They have no real receiving core. They don't. Uh, I mean, they need what they need is draft picks. They, right. right. They and need to rebuild I, their team. I think they can I think get it's, that's probably two a, firsts. Two firsts or maybe a first and two seconds. I don't know something that they can build I, around. I think two I and agree. two. Actually, I think they can with with Derrick Henry. With you think they can pull a Woolery on it? Yeah, well, two and two, huh? two and two, pull a yeah. two first and they're two seconds. I really do. Yeah. That. Yeah, that's awesome. But um, but the thing is, yeah. is that while he still has value because he's getting older and he eventually running backs, their average I think is five years in the NFL of being actual stud running backs, and I think he is one. He's big, but he also is starting to get hurt a little bit, like in later parts of the season. Mm -hmm. Trade him while he's valuable, and then get as much as you possibly can from him because you're going to have to rebuild, and you're going to have to rebuild. Yeah, it's exactly the same thing that they should do with Dak and Zeke. Uh, get rid of him. Yeah. Get rid of him. I, I, I think so, too. Oh, I think Zeke is on the table. I do, too. I think he's. I think he's all but gone. Mm -hmm. I think he. Same thing with Dak. Under the table. I, he might be. He, he might be. He's, <laughs> he's begging Jerry, for his job. In Jerry yeah, Jones' Jerry office. Jones is like, all right, son. You're not doing too bad a job. <laughs> Keep no it up. Kidding. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun to see what happens, what moves happen, and uh, we uh, yeah, we'll have fun with that. Uh, but moving on, I, I got to talk about it because I thought it was absolutely hilarious. Did I know we don't talk a whole lot about golf on this show? But there was a very important golf tournament that happened over the last, uh, I think it was two weeks ago, if I remember correctly. And Tiger Woods uh, was paired up with uh, Justin Thomas. And they're pretty good friends. Well, Tiger Woods, while being significant, I mean, much older than Justin Thomas is. And crippled. Uh, yeah, yeah, kind of. I mean, broken legs and shit. Dude, yeah. He outdrives Justin Thomas and as a joke, goes up to Justin Thomas and kind of secretly puts a tampon in his hand and they both have a chuckle but they caught it on camera people didn't like that oh jesus christ those fucking <laughs> feminist organizations are losing their goddamn well, minds i totally well, that's agree weird because tiger woods is such a feminist <laughs> oh, <fuck>. yeah <laughs> and he apologized I mean, he's all about women yeah yeah he is he treats I mean, him with mm -hmm. so much respect great respect absolutely Get the fuck over uh, yeah. yourselves. Here's the thing, though, too. Justin Thomas was driving a 16-pound Brunswick. Oh, was he? Oh, yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> wow. There you go. That's Jesus. why he outdrove him. <laughs> right. There you go. This is fucking ridiculous. I'm so sick and tired of this bullshit. There's a Stupid women. Yeah, uh, No, it's well, just it's, it's not that. <laughs> Tampons shouldn't be on the fucking golf course. Well, <laughs> Unless it's a no, practical joke. Unless they're in a machine at the eighth hole. Yeah. I mean, it's a joke. Get the fuck over yourselves. Now, Apparently. Women, get the broads off the course. That's what oh I said. <laughs> these broads are everywhere. It's not that big of a deal. I, he made a joke. I, su I support these lesbos who are all pissed <laughs> off. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Anyways, I thought that was pretty funny, and uh, those feminist organizations can go and suck it. Um, KJ Osborne, he uh, he ends. Uh, he plays for the Minnesota Vikings. Actually, he ends up pulling a guy out of a burning vehicle and saves his life. That was pretty damn cool. Would you yeah, would the you bad part about it is he still had all the stick him on his hands and it caught fire. <laughs> yeah, it was, and it really got he'll tragic. He'll never be the same. Gosh, Thank man. God it was Minnesota and he it was, was able to put his hands in the snow. Oh, yeah. Lucky, lucky. Very lucky. Um, and they also don't say that he started that fire. Right. He's, so, he lit the car on fire. <laughs> yeah. Oh, secret. Uh, let's see. John Bones Jones defeats, uh, I think his name's Surreal, gone uh, to win the heavyweight UFC title. Don't uh, watch it. I, I did watch it, and I'm I'm kind of getting sick and tired the, of John Jones. The heavyweight? Yes. Because he's a light heavyweight, isn't he? He moved up. He really? moved up. He won the heavyweight championship. It was a vacated title, so the I mean, whoever won that We were fight. all on vacation. I know. The fucking was. title was even title. on vacation. It, it was. Everybody, Everybody but, but Jake. Me. The thing is, is that he is. Oh, sorry. Um, no, it was supposed to be a want want. Uh, that's a, but that's it's a too shame. late now. That's too late now. Just keep talking. 
Um, he's an uh, he's an exception. Fucking blue, it's got to so yeah, Fucking ruined the that's podcast. What we for I was, be trying, in charge I was of the trying to move. I was trying to move on. Um, but no, he's an exceptional wrestler, so he's going to have that as a, a huge ad advantage when he moves up to heavyweight. The thing is with heavyweights, yeah. these guys are fucking huge, and if they punch yeah. you one fucking time, yeah. it can it can turn your lights well, off. Well, and it's a big difference, you know, wrestling around a guy who's two fifteen compared to a guy who's two sixty five. Amen, two, two, brother. Yeah, two fifty at weigh in and probably put on some pounds. Amen, too. my brother. I know th that is he knows all about that wrestling. Is true, dudes he does. Yeah. I prefer to do both at the same time. Sure. Your favorite? You like the rear naked choke? That's actually. Oh, it's one of my favorites. I know. <laughs> I love the rear naked choke. Oh my god! I have always I'm thought that hard is just a, thinking about it. Really, that is a false nomer. <laughs> really, <laughs> I think that they should have to live up to it if they <laughs> want to call it that. Yeah, you got to pull them. Then I would down. start watching UFC. That's how he won. Right, he won with a rear the, naked choke. Well, gotta my love it. God, good for him. Uh, but yeah, they they're set to uh, have him fight Stipe Miocic, which I think will be a much more competitive fight. Considering Considering Stipe is a great wrestler and striker, uh, so uh, excited for that. And last okay. but not least, is that can't how you pronounce that Stipe. Stipe, yeah, Stipe Miocic. That guy doesn't know how to fucking pronounce his own name. Uh, he's, it's, it's obviously Stipe. Stipe. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's Ukrainian. He's related he's to Michael, Michael Stipe. Yeah. Actually, actually mm -hmm. I really don't know where he's from, but that's okay. Uh, and last but not least, he uh, got this guy. Ukraine. This guy. Yeah, well, he, then he should be over there fucking fighting. He should not yeah, here. Yeah. He's, fighting. An, he's an American citizen. Um, but uh, this guy can't stay out of the fucking news, and he can't keep annoying the shit out of me. Jackson Mahomes is being investigated by police in Kansas after allegedly assaulting uh, a rest. Let's say restaurant wait or waiter waitress uh, at a well, restaurant. Which one? There's a difference. <laughs> it's a it's a waitress at a restaurant. He like forcibly kisses her or some shit like that. There's video <laughs> evidence of it. What a fucking dick! I hate this stupid kid. I have to kid. say, I have to say, I'd fuck him. I'm sure you would. He, he, <laughs> I'd let him assault me. I'm Just sure. to get to Pat. Yeah, right. exactly. I mean, yes. Se That's senior. I know you're a big fan. Senior. 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 Yeah. senior. Well, we're closer in age. Uh, I just, I'm so excited. I hope they lock this fucking kid up in prison so he can't be. Me on. too. I'm sure. That's the day I start stealing well, and stereos. That's when you yeah. murder me so you right. can go to the same prison. Oh, Here's yeah. the problem with saying that, Scotty. Uh, he's not really a kid anymore. He should fucking know better. That's true. He's just younger he than me. He needs to be held accountable for his bullshit. He does. And I, I just want to punch that motherfucker in the face. I'm so sick and tired of him. But anyways, hey, Jeremy, what did you think about the Super Bowl? We haven't heard from you since. Or, uh, yeah. I I was uh, Happy. amusement parking for the first half. Oh, uh, were you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was the day that we went. It was oh, on fuck. Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> Sorry. That's how little I gave a fuck about it. Yeah. But I did watch the second half. I mean... You know, I renounced my Chiefs fandom a year ago, so I can't take any pleasure in it. Well, I mean, Andy uh, Reid won you another Super Bowl. What do you think of Andy Reid? Uh, he's still a fat fucking loser. He <laughs> <laughs> fucking hates him. Yeah. Uh, I, I, not I, a I, fan. Not a fan. I know. Of all the Super Bowls he had a chance to win, I mean, there's these two. I mean, yeah. That's it. <laughs> That's all you got. So if you if you haven't been paying attention to the show, Derek says he is officially not, not watching yeah. football ever again. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Right. Why why is that? Because he thinks it was rigged. Rigged. Okay. <laughs> Well, you know the incredible respect I have for conspiracy theories. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Those fucking flat mooners. Uh. Can can I can I tell you why that's preposterous? Go for it. That's um there's nothing to gain and too much to lose. It, um, okay, here's a conspiracy theory can only, or a conspiracy can only work at a small level. Mm -hmm. It would take, you would need owners, referees, general managers, coaches, and players to be in on this. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, then other people are going to get word of it. It would just take too much to coordinate, number one. You can't tell me that somebody didn't want to get a book deal out of that or nobody wanted to you know Blow have a whistle. crisis mm. of conscience yeah. you know you telling me that john gruden wouldn't be blowing that fucking shit up <laughs> yeah. I mean, especially right now and he'd be using the n-word <laughs> yeah he, maybe, maybe. he yeah. can now he's not gonna get hired back no, right. um but also the fact that uh you know there's so much money gets bet on football mm. that this would actually fall under like the rico statutes that's true. oh wow that's true. Uh, that's, that's very true that's very true that's true so everybody would not Damn, only he is smart not, you, not, not only would they be risking a billion dollar empire from a billion multi 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 billion dollar oh, empire yeah. crumbling and every one of them would stand to lose everything they own in what would be the most massive civil lawsuit in the history of the world 
but it would also they would it would be a crime yeah. uh, under racketeering laws, and they would spend the rest of their lives. Everybody involved would spend the rest of their lives in prison. All just to make a, a better story. So basically, what you're saying is, "Fuck you, Derek." <laughs> well, and you're fucked it, in the it's, head. It's it's sour grapes. Is yeah, what it sour is. Grapes. The he's a fucking win. Bears fan. I mean, he's always well, going to have sour grapes. I, it's not even that he doesn't even care if the Bears win. He just didn't want the Chiefs to win. Yeah, that's right. true. And yeah. you I know, I, I get that. But me too. Uh, <laughs> me too. No, what what you would have to go through in order to script the fucking endings, and if. If they are scripted, the script writers have kind of shown they are not on Andy Reid's side. Uh, <laughs> history has shown that many times. It's and true. if it was scripted, what a shitty script. We're going to have a penalty. The last get two years in, in We're not row. even going to have the, the MVP of the game throw a game-winning touchdown. We're going to have field goals. <laughs> yeah. Field goals. That's true. Not, you know, this thing where we've heralded as the, you know, the first time that two black quarterbacks have faced each other, we're going to have the white frat boy kicker come in and <laughs> save the fucking day. Yeah. No, it's, uh, it's the same. At the risk of getting political, it's the same fucking mentality of the election was rigged. It's, it, a, yeah. it's the same fucking thing. Yeah. Well, anyways, uh, that's the sports that I have other than Detroit is going to win the North next year. That's all I got to say about that. Oh, my God. All right. Now we're done with you that You mean in shit. battle, right? Yeah. They're going to war. Like <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, this, Winter is coming. Winter is coming. <laughs> Grab your muskets. Oh, no. I was thinking of a different North. I was like, South will rise again. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, roll Tide. <laughs> roll Tide. Roll Tide. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but anyways, now we get to have a little bit of fun. Um, I really like just this a idea. Bit. Just a little bit. This is basically overrated or underrated, but it's uh, pretty easy. It's called love it or hate it. Uh, take a couple of things, and uh, we either love it, like it, or hate it. Uh, and we're going to do the first one. Wait, we love it, like it, or hate it? Because yeah, it can, says love it yeah. or hate it. Yeah, no, love like, it, like it isn't like it even is an really, option. Yeah. yeah, you could. Yeah, whatever. I mean, uh, I could do whatever the fuck I want. This is America, That's Jack. totally That's true. That's true. Yeah, we're going to kick this bad boy off. Love it or hate it, chat GTP. Are you familiar with this shit? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Go. What you got? Don't know what that means. Okay, chat GTP is like an AI sy okay. system that is basically like able to talk, talk to them well you they, can go on dates with them and shit people like talk to them like that they're starting to do it with like like political shit oh yeah and some stupid people are thinking like these people are actually saying it and then some people are making pe them extremely hilarious yeah and it's it's it scares the shit out of me i hate this i'm i'm very very kind of nervous about this particular kind of technology imagine jp if you haven't written a set a 60 minute set in years, you can have this AI write your set and be a phenomenal comedian. It's instead of a shitty one. That Do you, you are. know <laughs> how long I've been waiting for this to happen? That's what it is. It, it does oh. all kinds of, it's basically a language. Love it. It's a language AI system. I love it. Oh God. I love it. They legitimately Here. wrote uh, a Here's couple the of the problem with it. It always has the personality of Andrew Dice Clay. That's, <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, that, that's the only thing that it can do is dirty nursery rhymes. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Uh, but no, this makes me this makes me a little nervous. And because it's just gonna improve. Uh, they're using it to even like have like OnlyFans. Uh, they have like pictures that you can if you're looking really close, you can tell, oh, this is a fake person, this is AI. Uh, but if you don't know what you're looking at, it you can't fucking tell. Well, I'll be able to tell because I know exactly <laughs> what I'm looking at. You're yeah. not gonna fake me out with one of those AI people. I know. I I hate this. Hopefully, um, uh, it will lead to the downfall of the internet because uh, that's kind of what the world needs. <laughs> Maybe really, if just there is just gonna be anything. Control to Alt Delete. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Unplug it and plug it back in. How about you? Try it now. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> How about you, Jeremy? Uh, I hate it. I fucking hate it. Yeah. That's the last thing that we need. I agree. Uh, you know, being creative, writing things, that's one of the last few things that people actually do. Mm -hmm. And now this thing's going to do it and do it better. Yeah, it sucks. All right. And again, maybe there'll be a decent M. Night Shyamalan movie. <laughs> and again. <laughs> or a better. He was dead the whole uh -huh. time. Yeah. All right. Next one. Love it or hate it eyebrows on babies love it oh my god love it so much it's the best fucking oh, thing ever it's great i do i've seen people draw them on their dogs as well and i love that oh no, that's, that's fucking great that's great <laughs> i think it's awesome it's yeah, so cool for seeing sure. my golden retriever had the absolute most expressive eyebrows 
just just without actually seeing eyebrows, just the way he could move the skin above his. He was constantly judging. James <laughs> constantly, constantly judging. <laughs> Don't judge me. This asshole doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. Pretty much, yeah. I say love it. Uh, I love it. I think it's great. More videos of people doing this, please. That would be excellent. We don't have any kids, so we can't do it. So I'd right. like to see it happen uh, on Instagram <laughs> with 10-year-olds. <laughs> Dressed up as Harry Very Potter. Very seductive <laughs> eyebrows. Yikes. Yeah. All right. Uh, all no, right. I like it. Okay. Uh, I love like. <laughs> okay. Like. Like. There you go. See, that's why that's in there. It wasn't in there. Uh, okay. It is now. Okay. Uh, love it or hate it. Giving someone the finger. So, to, oh god, god damn it! So hold on, let me just, <laughs> let me just, just, like, or <laughs> no, like that, like this, like in traffic. Okay, man. so the other day I pull up to work. <laughs> what about the other one? The, yeah, this one I love. I'm sure That's you a do. love. Oh. Not me. It's uh, cock or nothing. <laughs> no, yeah. Well, sometimes you just don't want all that. Uh huh. Anyway, the other day I pull up, they, I pull up to work, and my my one of my cooks is parked, and I pull up in front of him, and I just fucking give him the old double bird, yeah. fuck you, man, yeah. whatever, and I didn't even think much more about it. And about ten minutes later, he pulls out and pulls off, and I'm like, well, why didn't he go into work? You know what I mean? That's fucking weird. And then he goes and he parks down on the other side, and I'm like, oh, maybe he just wanted to be closer. Anyway, so I get out, and I start walking into work, and this guy starts, starts walking across the parking lot. Hey, man, why are you flipping me off, man? It was not my cook. <laughs> it was not my cook. I pulled up, fucking gave a guy a double bird, smoked a bowl, and meanwhile, he sat there for like 10 minutes, Oh. And then was like, fuck this guy and drove off, parked somewhere else, and then decided as he saw me walking into the restaurant, you know what? Fuck this guy. I'm going to confront this guy. I go, man, I'm so sorry. I apologize. I really, I, I was just fucking around. I've never seen anybody else drive a 96 Monte Carlo besides my <laughs> cook. Uh, I, I really thought it was him. And he's, I was like, that's kind of funny. And he goes, it's kind of not. And oh, what just a fucking walked off, right? So then... Saturday night, he comes in for dinner. Oh, no shit. And he sits down, and I'm like, I fucking know this dude, and I cannot figure out why he looks familiar to me. Did I work with him at QT? I mean, it just somehow. And so I finally put two and two together. I said, that's the guy I fucking <laughs> flipped off a couple weeks ago. So I go to the table. He's there with his girl. And I said, hey, man, this is going to be really awkward if I'm wrong. And he just looks up and he goes, you're right. Oh. <laughs> Didn't even wait for me. Wow. He go, I go, dude, I said, let me buy you a piece of cake. I really am sorry. He laughed it off. He thought it was funny at this point. He's like, man, that's great or okay. whatever. All right. It, and How was your ended tip? ended up a, like 45%. Fucking wow. hey, there really you go. Good. Nice. So, All right. You know, he accepted the apology and it, it was really funny though. That's was, awesome. So I love it. I'll go love it. I, both I, ways. I, yeah, I'm sure you do. Um, I absolutely love this. The middle finger in, at least in the United States is probably the longest finger. No, it's, it sure is. It's the, well, it's normal the coolest, human beings. it's the coolest <laughs> fucking thing because it means so many things. And like you were saying, like to your buddy, this does not mean fuck you. No, I was, it, this is like, what's hey, up? Asshole, how's, how's it going? It going? You piece of shit. Yeah. Or if actually could mean fuck you. And so I think it's an excellent thing and it releases a lot of tension and stress. So I love this. This is my okay. favorite. Right. How about you, Jeremy? I love it for the fact that it is a necessary evil. I would so much <laughs> rather tell you to your face that you're a no you're, good yeah. son of a bitch with a head full of pig shit. <laughs> But sometimes when you're in a car, that's just not possible. And this is my only avenue of recourse. It's true. This, this is the best I got. That for the right horn. Now. That's all you got. Yeah. That the horn. Yeah. Well, that's to make sure you see. So that, yeah. So yeah. that they look. Let me get your attention. See that? See Thanks. that? Have a nice day, bitch. I'll take my hands off the wheel sometimes to give them. <laughs> just do the double. To, to do, no. I, well, I got. Oh. I got trip. Yeah. He, I got, he, he that adds it a it. little something. Yeah. It I don't does, know I why. Agree. It just does. Oh, it's so great. It's like the difference between calling somebody a fucker and a motherfucker <laughs> yeah. it's, there's a lot more oomph behind uh -huh. it yeah i'll wreck my fucking car if i have <laughs> I, mean, I don't care and then somebody flips me off and i deserved it <laughs> unless it's the person and i'll tip him 45 percent. there you go uh next one love it or hate it murder documentaries i liked that one. Oh no which one uh the 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 guy that owns the 
Oh, I'm tow on. yard or whatever. Fucking. Oh, oh, making a murder. Making it. Yeah. Oh, making a murder. I, I did not watch dude. that. The guy one. from uh, Manitowoc. Yeah. Wisconsin. Manitowoc. Dude, they set that son of a bitch up so hard, bro. <laughs> no, he did. It's, no. Yes, he did. No, he did. See, yes, he this did. is why we do no, this. No, he did not. Man. Yeah, he did. There is no, he did not. I, you have to remember what you have to remember about that is that they were already doing a documentary about him about how he had been falsely convicted of rape. So they were already on his side and against the police, and they you never know what they're leaving out. And no, those, the, man, I, the social documentaries right, social documentaries have to be taken with a grain of salt because they can include or exclude whatever they want. It's mm-hmm. fucking America. I can don't have to take it they with can, anything. They can push a particular oh, for sure they can. side. Yes. It, yeah. yeah, for sure. And this one they definitely are. Yeah, and, um, it, and when you if you watch it, when you watch it, you can absolutely tell it's skewed. So here's okay. I absolutely love them. Did it. Yeah, I absolutely love them, and I'll tell you why. Because my wife watches the fuck out of that, <laughs> <laughs> and that bird gives, documentaries and Christmas trees. <laughs> well, that gives me the opportunity then to walk in halfway through and be now. Who's that guy? Yeah. What, what's going on here now? Who did this? Why? Okay. I don't. I don't know that he did it. Oh, is he turned out to be the bad guy? I, why is he doing that? <laughs> I get to be her. Nice. And she fucking hates it. <laughs> and do you think that keeps her from doing shit back to no, me? No, it nope. does not. <laughs> no. Nope. Not, not putting two and two together. Uh. Uh-uh. Oh, jeez. I fucking love them too. Uh, but I, I I enjoy them, and my wife enjoys them too. So we watch them together. And you never saw. I never watched the making of murder. I, I think I maybe tried to tried to watch the first couple episodes, but I just didn't have the hook for me. The one that did it, and I think started the whole ordeal, and I've been obsessed with it ever since I saw the very first documentary about it was the John Bonet Ramsey uh, murder in uh, Colorado. Yeah, I, they, I will I've quote seen, the yeah. uh, the great Danielle Koenig, who made the perfect joke of getting murdered was the most normal thing to happen to that kid in her whole life oh that's totally fucking true it's disgusting but it's true it is but um they actually came out it's on discovery plus if if you have it and you can go and watch the newest one we don't have it because we're not fucking morons sorry but but discover it it's on discovery and you can go watch you don't have to sign up by the way you can just watch it for free and they they, or that or but they release new evidence on it and it's it's fucking compelling as fuck it's just it's just one of those things and ever since they have completely cleared the parents haven't they huh they have completely cleared the parents yes they have which is weird because Boy, they seem like murderers. They yeah, they, they really well, kind of Well, did. they seem like the type who would sell their daughter out to get murdered. Correct, just because of the fucking um, beauty pageants and shit like that. Yeah. And a lot of people think it was the, it was the brother. They didn't know Instagram shit. was coming. <laughs> no kidding, right? Um, but no. Of course, uh, John Benet Ramsey would be like, what, 35 now? Yeah, she was older than me whenever it came out. So, yeah, she was about my age. It's fucking crazy. She's still more mature than you ever got. 100%. Uh-huh. And uh, taller. Yeah. Uh, last but not <laughs> least. Last but not least. Love it or hate it, Black History Month. Coming from two white guys, I love it. I think it's great. Well, I love the black man. (laughs) I'm sure you do. Uh, I know you do. Yeah, man, Black History Month. I think that uh, it's great. Yeah. I mean, we have Gay Pride Month. I know. Why don't we have a month? You do. What is it? Why don't black people have a month? It's called every other month. (laughs) (laughs) I know. I'm just kidding. But I think your it's, month is this month, St. Patrick's Day. Oh yeah, you're right. It is. Uh, that's a day. It's not. That, well, that's kind of a week. But you, yeah, week. It's it's week. Yeah, it yeah. is a week. Uh, but no, I I I I'm indifferent. It's okay. It doesn't affect me really a lot, to be honest with you. With this the the whole month thing, it's like those stupid holidays. You know what I'm saying? Um, that are like uh, like pet your dog day kind of stupid shit. Do we like have that. American Indian Month? No, fuck no, we don't. We should. That's what we should. No have. kidding. There's not enough of them left. <laughs> 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 the ones that are here at resort casinos. Yeah. Uh, no, and like even my best friend is like this. This month is fucking stupid. Like it's just so dumb. Black guy, and he's just like this is dumb. It's just stupid as shit. <laughs> but anyway, wait uh, a minute. Yeah. What? Okay, it's about black. I thought it was a whole month dedicated to Lewis Black. Oh, well, it could be. Because he's great. He is a great and comedian. You want to give him his own month? I mean, that's You're a okay lot of that. material. It is. I'm at least give him a give him a, a month that has at least thirty days. Not, th- not black history not month. Black I gotta history think give him the shortest yeah. month. After two weeks, he's he's probably gonna be stealing material from Andrew Dice Clay. Probably. 
Which is thank God that but it'll be written by a chat around. GTP, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, probably. Ah, uh, shit. No, I I think it's no, I think it's fine. Here's what I don't understand is why there aren't parades during that month. Because speaking of murder mysteries or murder documentaries, <laughs> where is he going, where is he going, where is he going with this? Do you ever watch the first Forty Eight? Oh yeah, yeah definitely. Dude. Every black guy that gets killed, <laughs> okay, they have makeup T-shirts and they release balloons. They're a very uh, pageantry people. Oh. They're a very pageantry. <laughs> I'm surprised they don't have parades. Yes, they seem like the type who would have. Parades. They probably. They probably do, just not here. You know those people. <laughs> those they're parade people. Put that oh, on TikTok, shit. Scott. No. Put that on there. Oh, Stick shit. that up your TikTok. <laughs> That's a that's a culture full of pageantry. <laughs> a lot of majesty damn. there. Very beautiful culture. For what it's worth, we're joking, I, and it, I, it's fine. I, yeah. For um, what it's worth, we're joking, and it's fine because we said so. Yeah, and we're white. Yeah, we're white guys. We're white guys. We tell you what's fine. And what are you gonna just, do? Take us to court? We're gonna win. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Anyways, moving on. That's love it or hate it. Hope you like that <laughs> controversial. It went well. Deal. The first part yeah. I liked a lot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wow. We just you just lost. Uh, Less I than like half how percent of your audience. Was, by the way, that was that was letter A. <laughs> yeah, it came and up you first. did everything else first, and then came yeah, back you gotta have to that. I crescendo. thought you had come to some sense. So just <laughs> like <laughs> every other white person in the world, you're putting them last, uh, back well, of the bus, even though they were even though they were on the front of the bus. Uh-huh. You took them all the way back Fuck, here. To they were F. driving the bus. God yeah. damn it! Anyways, okay, all right, just mo- pointing that out. Moving on. Next. I even drew a little. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. You, I'm sure you did. Yeah. Uh, now we get to move on to Google this. Uh, this is actual things people have Googled, and we get to answer it as if we are Google. First thing that was Googled is, <laughs> what do aliens look like? That, why didn't you start at the bottom this time and then come <laughs> yeah. back to that what, one? What's with that, That's Scotty? weird. I learned my lesson. So aliens are cooler uh-huh. than black aliens people? Aliens are ahead of blacks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, aliens look like, uh, ev- I mean, they look like everybody else, I think. You know, They're just south of the Texas border. That's all that they are. You're talking about illegal aliens, not oh, space aliens. Oh, space aliens? What are space aliens? I don't fucking know. Lizard people, man. No. No. <laughs> I think you're wrong. <laughs> oh, no? Um, have you ever seen American Dad? Uh, e- they all look just like Roger. Okay. I don't think I have. No, it's cartoon. It's a great show. That's cartoon. No, Great I'm show. Like but Futurama? No, they, no. no. I okay. Hate okay. All right. Uh, um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what they look like. I don't man. either. But don't, we know. We do? Oh, we know. Okay. They definitely have alien, just aliens. They have them, like I, dead aliens that have crashed, and they've done research. And oh, For 100, 100%, they have it. So I got a, I got a, I got a challenging play on this. This is, gonna, this is me being serious now. What if we have no evidence of actual aliens? This is our own military that's testing out space aircraft that is very advanced. And here's why I say this because, because almost, almost like 90% of the, the sightings quote unquote are in the United States compared to the rest no, of the world. No, that's not true. That's not true. London's that's not true. Bigger, London's huge. Uh, there's, London's there's a lot the of, most. Uh, there's a shitload in the United Dude, States. London's more. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm, okay, 100%. well, then I stand corrected. Yeah, but... Turns out you're a fucking moron. What if... What if... we are per capita. It's not. Okay, fair. Yeah, it's what, not. What if, though, not we're though. flying these fucking things around just to show everybody yeah. else that well, doesn't like us that we've got happening. it? <laughs> see? I, I see? I see UFOs all the time. Uh, that is a true fact. Uh, people forget what the U stands for. Unidentified. Um, it doesn't mean alien. Right. It does not mean alien aircraft. No. It, and I think here. there are plenty of our stuff that we're doing that way. There, there's all of it. Look at the B-2 it's bomber. With the B-2. It's, all it's all of it. No, it's not. Yes, it is. The <laughs> fact that you can't explain something does not mean it doesn't have a rational explanation. And while it may be unlikely that it is a military craft, the You know fact what, man? I liked it better when you weren't here. The fact is that it is a million <laughs> times more likely... <laughs> That they, of it's, course, it's a million times more likely, but it's it, there's aliens, man. No, there's you don't not. believe in aliens. I, I they they aren't here, ha, they are. Can, let, can they I, just flew let, their balloon, I, I know, they just flew finish. their balloons over. I, I know that I've, I've said this on the show before, but JP wasn't here. Okay, JP, if you were going to make a scale model of the Milky Way galaxy 
and you made our sun the size of a basketball. You put it right here in Wichita. You know how far away the next closest basketball would be? 1.3 billion light miles. <laughs> no, we're scaling it down. The sun is oh, the size of a basketball. It would be over there by my coat. It would be in Honolulu, Hawaii. <laughs> that would be the closest place that there would be alien life to come from. And there, there's a... There's a but you're forgetting about time travel. No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, I am not forgetting about that at all. Because <laughs> that really doesn't have any time. has nothing to do with covering they can, four and a half light Dude, they uh, go, light can go light year speed. They can go yeah. light speed, bro. No, they can't. <laughs> yeah, they can. No, no, they can't. It's been proven. How else are they going to get well, here? Well, uh, because like that's said. physically impossible. You can't go light speed. You can go real close. You closer. can't. <laughs> you haven't seen me run, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Move. Okay. All right. Uh, what do I think they look like? They look like the fat girl from Wilson Phillips. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's that? <laughs> Oh, there's a definite fat one. Oh, that's <laughs> too bad. Yeah. All right. Next one. Thank God. Moving on. Uh, Google this. Why isn't what? 11 pronounced one teen? Wow. Phonics. <laughs> I mean, look at the way it's spelled. <laughs> I don't know. If, if you looked at E-L-E-V-E-N and you got one teen out of that, <laughs> you need to go back to school. Would that mean 12 would have to be one two teen? <laughs> no, it'd be two teen. No, that's dumb. That's dumb. Where'd you get that out? Fucking people Googling this shit. Yeah. They are idiots. People are fucking stupid. They are fucking morons. Next thing you know, they're going to be telling me they believe in aliens. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways. Okay. Next one. Google this. Why aren't there guns in Harry Potter? Because they have magic. You don't need a gun. Oh, fuck. Guns would be awesome. Guns and explosions. You don't need a gun. Fuck yeah. Nothing. You could uh, just expel your Cyril Ramos fucking <laughs> gun away from you. I mean, I don't know. There, you don't need guns. There's a very rational explanation to this, actually. Okay, okay. Jeremy knows this, too. Because it's in England where they have outlawed <laughs> fucking guns. <laughs> He's and not wrong. I say this because if you watch Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, they there's a creature called a Niffler that's breaking into a jewelry store, and the cops come, and the cops have guns. Oh, okay. And he is able to use his magic to... Get no, a yeah. fucking lion shows up. That's what happens. A lion escaped from the zoo, and they turn their guns on it because, you know, kill the fucking creature. Um, <laughs> but no, guns do exist in that world. And okay. uh, yeah, but, good but it's not near as fun. Okay, that's fair. Um, <laughs> this one fucking makes me laugh. Google this. What? <laughs> Why? Is that, a <laughs> that, that is not a typo. Google this. Come on, man. Give Why are there school? Come on, I gotta, I gotta. I'm deaf. I'm, I'm serious. Somebody, oh, let actually, me get off my porn hub. Okay, go for it. Why are there school, Jeremy? Uh, so they can learn. <laughs> uh, I, I don't even know how to fucking properly I, conjugate I, that. I, 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 I how, what is the proper bisection <laughs> of this sentence? This, this, well, I don't see this anywhere. It is. It is. It uh, comes up why. Why are there school closings? No. Why are there dress codes? I that's, don't see where it because, just says why are there school. That's because you're not stupid. I actually look these up and find them, and, the, and these are like screenshots of shit. Because of fish. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's He's right. It's that's exactly why. It's because you're not dumb. But that, Okay, but that's crazy, This man. is stupid. This is, uh, but everybody why says. So why did you put it? <laughs> just, Do you I, know how many more interesting questions there probably are on Google? Uh, Google's got a lot of information. That's true. Okay, but it, obviously it's stupid. It's because you need to go to school. Oh, I know. Why? Why? So that schmucks will have a place to protest. <laughs> Fair. That's right. Uh, so the gun manufacturers yeah. can uh -huh. promote their products. That's right. Um, and then last one. Google yeah. this. How to be emo. I, there's a song about it. Cut my wrist and black my eyes. Right? Hawthorne Heights. Yeah. Emo. That's it. Simple. Self-explanatory. JP, you were an emo kid, weren't you? Because I'm gay. Yeah. <laughs> all all emo people no. turn out to be gay. No, not all of them. Just me. I turned out fine. I wasn't emo. No, not no, at all. not really. I was fabulous. <laughs> you I are was, not that. You're not that at all. I could. I'm sure could you, you could. And I have been before. When I was cute and young, I was really into fashion. Oh and all that God, stuff. that's weird. Yeah, I know. Uh, what? Uh, okay, explain to me what's the difference between emo and goth. Okay, there is a difference. Okay, Big difference. I, I would like to know because I okay. don't. No, actually, I wouldn't. I don't care. But 
B- go ahead and you explain. Should Google it. Both, <laughs> both wearing, both wear black. A lot of black, right? Uh-huh. But emo has a little bit more of a, of skinny jeans as opposed to goth, where like black jinkos with like all of the shit and tassels hanging off. So the difference okay, is, is in be, the jeans. Yeah, this is going to be very. Uh, not everybody's going to get this, but uh, you have to grow your hair shoulder length. Take a trombone on stage with you, take it apart, put it back together again. <laughs> Emo Phillips. Okay. Comedian Emo Not Phillips. Not everybody's going to get this. No. The, the father of, uh, of alt comedy, really. Yeah. He's one of the most brilliant joke writers of all time. Uh, doesn't get near enough credit, but uh, okay. no, he's great. And that's kind of his gimmick that he... He brings a trombone out on stage with him, and he assembles it and acts like he's about to start, and then he puts it down and takes start taking it apart again, and then he'll put it back together while he's telling his jokes. <laughs> and so it's just a huge awesome. fucking distraction. Sometimes he'll take his coat off and stuff it in his pants pocket. <laughs> it's uh, He's great. I love him. Uh, so no. I'm open up for Weird Al, and then I hated the Weird Al show. Okay. Uh, simple explanation. Uh, goth is like Slayer and Max Sabbath. And then uh, emo would be something like Blink One Eighty Two and Thirty Seconds to Mars. Emo, I think they're more woke. Is, Are is, they? Is that I think short that's the for difference. emotional? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's sort of. the difference. I oh, think okay. goth is just they just fucking hate everything. Emo, they're like more woke. Okay. Fair I enough. think that's the difference. Fair. Okay. Now we get to move on to questions and pray guntas. Yay! Um, we're gonna start this bad boy off with uh, this question. Farts would be even funnier if they sounded like blank. Meefs. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Meefs. Yeah, I give you that one, buddy. You win. All right. Uh, I, I, I think it would be absolutely hilarious if every fart sounded like the, like the THX sound. Like whenever yeah. the audience is listening, yes, exactly. yeah, exactly with the little yeah, <laughs> yes, oh yeah, oh yeah. How about yeah. you? How about you, Jeremy? Emo Phillips, <laughs> Emo Phillips, because <laughs> he does have a very distinct, like a high pitch kind of. He talks like this, <laughs> and so I think that would be a great for it, Sam. Perfect or old timey car horn. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. Uh, let's you know, see. my favorite part of the zoo has always been the animals. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All that's right. Uh, next that's not mine. That's, I can't that's take his. credit for that. That's <laughs> yeah, that's his. His. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right, so this is actually a, uh, a fan question. Uh, by the way, if you do have any suggestions Boo. for these questions, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram. If you do not already follow us on Instagram, I would suggest you do that soon because uh, TikTok is mad at us and is not pushing out our content. If you haven't seen us for a while, that's why. You can go uh, to Laughing on the Sidelines on TikTok and go through probably about 30 to 40 videos that you haven't seen before. When it comes to pooping us out, TikTok's constipated. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Somebody give that thing an enema. That's right. So this comes from Reichenfrost. It's been a long time since we've uh, heard from him. Uh, Reichenfrost. Reichenfrost. Yeah, he's uh, German. He's no, sound. don't do that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Not till he oh. does it to you first. <laughs> My bad. Yeah. Uh, anyways, Reichenfrost wants to know, what's the name of a special needs game show? <laughs> Can I go? Yeah, Please. go ahead, man. Tard Shark. <laughs> oh, God. What? I don't think you can top that. Oh, man. There used to be a show called Card Shark. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I get where you were coming uh-huh. from. I get where you're well, coming Scotty from. Scotty doesn't get pop culture references. For God's sake, he doesn't Card know. Sharks is new. Carlton hosts it. Oh, they come out with card charts again? <laughs> yeah, Carlton hosts it. Wow. Oh, yeah. From the Fresh Prince what of Bel Air. Alonzo? Alonzo, whatever. I can't. I don't yeah. know. The other black guy? Uh, yeah. Yeah. That was in that show. Whew. Used to play for the uh, Hornets, right? Yeah. Yep. Um, morning. Alonzo morning. morning. Yeah. Right. Um, I, I went with uh, Find the Extra Chromosome. It's a, kind of a search game. It's got a, sure. you got a whole bunch of, you know. What'd you say? It's Alfonso Rivera, right? Maybe, maybe I, I don't think that's it. it. I don't Fuck, know. I'm good. For you. That's, that's it. Yeah, that's right. Alfonso Rivera. Yeah, find Thank the extra you. chromosome is mine. Uh, how about you, JP? Um, will they float? <laughs> oh my um, god! It's where you take uh, people with no arms and no legs, and then you just throw them into the pool. <laughs> see if they float. And see if they float. Wow. Whoever lasts the longest wins. Okay, that's fair enough. 
I, I like mean, it. I mean, there really are no winners. <laughs> no, it's still no. the last man. Yeah, no. I mean, I, everybody goes down it's, with the it's, ship. It's but. the last man floating? Or woman. Or woman. Or, sorry. Yeah. Or whatever. Right. Okay. Uh, Dog. Yeah. Next one. Uh, 90% of men on dating apps blank. I, I don't. I, I'm, I guess I'll go first. Okay. Have more than two cats in their house. Ninety percent of men on dating apps yes. have more than two cats in their house. Absolutely, it's a it's an it's actual a thing fact. with straight guys. No, no, you, no. This is everybody. Oh, if you got a guy on a dating app, and the gay guys, I'll probably agree. They probably okay. have cats. Uh, yeah, probably dogs. Actually, okay, we don't like cats. Fuck yeah. cats. But ninety percent pussy. No pussy. No, no pussy. pussy for no. us. Absolutely. Ninety percent have. Ninety percent. That's pets. that's why they're single. It's because nobody wants to date a dude with two cats. Okay, that's why. How about you, JP? Ninety percent of guys on dating apps have fucked me. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad I'm not on a dating app then. Here, I'll give you a. Uh, nope. Don't want it. <laughs> don't want it. Oh. Anyways, how about you, Jeremy? Uh, drive a Chevy Avalanche. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yes. Yeah. That's Which is why it. they don't have dating apps in New Mexico. Right. Because no, no avalanches. Just no avalanches. Yep. Uh, next question. There's one. There's one. One, Apparently just at a one. Ski resort. Yeah. On the back of Taos, you pieces Cost of shit. Cost you 200 bucks to see it. Pieces yep. of shit. Okay, next question, uh, or next thing. Honest Kansas tourism slogans. I, I, I got one. I got, I got a couple for this, I think. Um, bonfires, beer, and fat bitches, welcome to Kansas. That's mine. Yeah. Oh, he gave himself the high hat. Because it's I don't accurate. don't appreciate it. It's accurate as hell. I don't appreciate that at all. What's yours? That's what we're at bat on this show is accurate. It's, mine's real. Okay, what is it? Kansas, as bigoted as you'd think. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good one. Kansas. Because, you know, there's, our slogan is Kansas, as big as you think. Oh, really? Yeah, that's the, the real thing. Is it real? real? Yeah. Oh, God. And so then all the gay people we put on bumper stickers that say kansas as bigoted as you think oh that's, that's a real thing that's bad yeah um kansas gay hating bastard <laughs> kansas stand on the chair <laughs> highest point in highest kansas. point in kansas. <laughs> that's my, that's another one how about you jeremy uh kansas i'll just go ahead and apologize now <laughs> okay <laughs> fair enough you ain't gonna like it <laughs> <laughs> you might no no, you won't. I, I mean, Kansas <laughs> shit's cheaper here. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Most inexpensive place to live. Uh, all right, and have you had a quick trip hot dog? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're pretty uh, good. Okay, I can eat them without chewing. I'm sure you can. Uh, la last question: Things people will say 20 years from now. Damn, Jason's a good bowler. <laughs> oh no, maybe maybe. No, they uh, will. Maybe. I'm fucking good, man. Yeah. Uh, Fast and Furious 28 was <laughs> full of shit. That's mine. <laughs> oh, and man, that COVID thing was bullshit, wasn't it? <laughs> I think we're already saying that. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. How about you, Jeremy? Who's Jason? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but he's, fucking, or, he's a good fucking bowler. <laughs> or I still think John Bonet's parents did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. All right, well, that is questions and preguntas uh, for this week's episode. Again, if you have any suggestions, send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on our Instagram. Appreciate it. Uh, but now we get to move on to something that we actually have been waiting for Jeremy to do since, uh, well, for him to come back so he can do it. This is What's in the we're Box. We're doing a daisy chain. No, we're not doing oh. that. Um, so I thought oh, that's why JP was in the middle. Maybe. Yeah, I, I um, was going to sit over there, but you were very insistent uh -huh. <laughs> that I was in the middle. Uh huh. Uh, but no, there was a fan that sent a uh, a package to our P.O. box here in Wichita. Fan. A uh, listener. Yeah. Okay. At least a fan of Jeremy, and we have been holding it for several weeks. And uh, you got it over there, my friend. It doesn't smell like balls, does it? It doesn't. It doesn't. No, you should have been here a couple weeks ago. We actually got no, these. No, I shouldn't uh, have. Yeah. I can tell you for a fact I should not have been here. We got these 3D Tyrannosaurus dicks up here. They're pretty awesome. Dude, those are badass. I saw them. <laughs> I saw Derek has them on his uh, fucking living room or his dining room table. Yeah. Like two of them look like they're about ready to fucking Fine. go out each other. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I will take your word for it. I can't see if there's a helmet in my way. I said I'll take your fucking word for it. Well, here you go. Dude, this, this, they're badass, yeah. man. Oh, by the way, Scotty, I forgot. <laughs> 
Speaking of, since we're giving people yeah. things, I actually forgot. I uh, got you something at Universal Studios. Uh, what is that? Smashed Penny. Oh, uh, nice. Wow. Wow. And uh, JP, I did you the honor of uh, not getting you one of those. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that more than I can say. Perfect. Didn't yeah. we decide that that was the worst souvenir gift shop? Yeah. Gift that you can actually <laughs> get. What's it say? And, uh, it, it, it has is a spi- that a ET ride? Uh, it's the no. Spider Man, I think. Oh, the Spider Man. Spider Man. Spider Man, nice. sorry. Spiderman. Yeah, Spiderman. Nice. That used to be a penny. <laughs> it did. It sure did. That is impressive. You know what's. I, I can't tell if I got a good deal or not because you don't have to use your own penny anymore. Oh. But it's now a dollar. So <laughs> I don't know if it's I'm getting ripped off penny. or not. Yeah, it's not a real penny. Yeah, and I just put it on a credit card. All I'm right. Paying that. Well, well let's, paying let's that. open what's in the box or uh, this That's package. A, more bad. It's a package for you, but it, package. it actually what's in the sack. Does it say <clears throat> what's in the sack. Who it came from. Um, I don't believe it did. I don't believe so. I do. Unless it's on the inside. I That's do. not your address, Scotty. Your address no, is... I don't you dare get back into that shit. Oh. Uh, I don't care for the way that they did not capitalize my name. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. This seems a little informal. Yeah. Um, that's how my mom spells it. Mm-hmm. She never did care for me. I know. All right. So what do we got in here? Mustard gas. No, I'm kidding. Oh, it's a... Sh- it's, a, it's, a, it's, a sh- it's a blanket? Oh, what is that? Dust filter bag for small dust collectors. Really? Wow. Okay. Three micron even. Wow. That's better than the five I got. Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> wow. That, that actually is cool. You know what? I wonder if this is from some of the guys up in Wisconsin. It might be. Since you Are they worried the, about my lungs? Maybe. Because you're going to be doing a lot of woodworking in the it is. in the garage. So. It is. Uh that's a helpful tip, by the way, in case anybody was wondering. Uh, sawdust is uh, uh, cancer-causing uh, if you breathe it in too much. Does it say here? Um, it's got silica in it. And oh. People, well, I shit. I'm it guess- does not say who it's from. Dang it. Well, comment on the episode and let us know. Oh, wait. Ne- warning. Nope. This bag is not a toy. <laughs> Well, thanks, bag. I think, uh, I think, Scotty, it says you should put the bag on your head. No, I think we're going to pass on that one. Now, it says keep this bag away from babies and children, <laughs> but it doesn't say whether or not they have eyebrows. Okay, that's fair So enough. this is an actual useful thing, so thank you very much. Yeah. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you very much to everyone. It's no are. gummy penis. Right. But, you know. <laughs> it's not. I want so badly to shit on this, and I can't. That's a thoughtful <laughs> <can't>. thing. <laughs> Look That's that, great. Man. Our listeners are awesome. Okay, well, that's that, too bad they got to be from Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's from them, but I'm guessing it's from one of them. Well, whoever it was, uh, let us know who that was. Please. Just so I can properly thank them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but anyways, that is... my dick right now. <laughs> what's, that's what's in the box this okay. week. Uh, but now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, I honestly don't remember the last draft, so I just kind of chose the order. Okay. Um, but uh, obviously, since we have Jeremy back as, uh, as a special guest, he gets to uh, get the first pick. Uh, JP is now a seasoned veteran and loves to be sandwiched, so he gets the sandwich picks. And I'll go ahead and take the championship picks because I am never, ever winning one of these drafts ever because again. Because he has the podcast equipment. Exactly. That's exactly <laughs> right. In this nice new studio. Um, but yeah, so uh, this week's draft, I think, is going to be kind of fun. Uh, the draft is things you hate that a lot of people love. So uh, okay. with that being said, Jeremy, you get the first pick. Soccer. Soccer is an excellent fucking pick. God dang it. That's a great pick. All right, JP. I'm going to go with pussy. Uh, yeah, that. Oh, my. My picks are weak as fuck. Yeah, they are. Wow. Okay. Um, Would you pick Tinker Toys? Uh, no. <laughs> what are those log- Lincoln, Lincoln logs? logs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Uh, I'm actually going to put uh, my first pick is going to be going swimming. Uh, I swim just fine, but I don't like it. 
I really don't. If I go to the pool, I'm never getting in the pool. If well, I'm people going, people are going to vote for that for sure. I, I no know. wonder you never win a fucking draft. <laughs> Between that and your personality. Um, yeah, that's sure. probably what it yeah. is. Um, I uh, let's see. I'm going to go with my next pick, and uh, I'm going to go with uh, Taylor Swift. Can't stand that you shit. You leave Swifty alone. Fuck that. You She's prick. even. No, oh, fuck that. I can't stand her music. It's yeah. it's just not. There. I talked to her the other day, and she didn't fucking like you either. There's not uh, a lot of people that do, yeah. so it's uh, it's not a new thing. Uh, JP, your second mm-hmm. pick. Go for it. No. Um, let's go with hacky comedians. Hacky? Co- Ooh. I don't know. Like, being in comedy and going to a club and seeing the just the worst, most hackiest fucking person. Who likes Sorry. them? Sorry. <laughs> <sighs> Who likes them? The whole fucking crowd. Really? Oh, my God. There, 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 is, a, certain- there is a comedian that comes out on stage who is actually going to be here very soon well, within don't, the next don't, few don't weeks. drop the name um john wesley austin <laughs> okay who wow. sounds like out, a serial killer <laughs> who comes out as this country yeah guy and he tells all these fucking just the easiest low-hanging fruit fucking jokes but he's so not that Really? He's not country at all makes sense he's oh he's the biggest hack i saw him do an interview and halfway Sounds through the like interview, you're really into this dude. Halfway, yes. halfway through the interview, he goes, ah, we got to start over. And the, the girl that was doing the interview is like, why? You know, it's going great. He goes, I forgot my accent. Oh, shit. That sucks. Yeah, fuck that guy. And the rest of every hacky comedian that ever walked the face of the earth. All right. Uh, well, Jeremy, now you get two, man. Mm. I guess, I, fuck, that kind of falls in that category. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say uh, the relationship between Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh. I definitely uh, love Dogg that. Snoop Dogg has no appeal for me anymore. Yeah. I find him to just, he's gotten old. Oh, wow. And, okay. All right. Wow. Like, okay. I, I just don't care for him. Bold okay. pick. Bold pick. Bold I waited until after Black History Month to say that. <laughs> Fair. That so brings up my next pick. <laughs> no, so well, it, it's my turn still. Yeah, oh, you, get, you get one more. Uh, I'm going to uh, weed. Weed. I'm not a weed guy. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Boo. Hey, That's I've just a reason it, not to vote not for you. It's just not my thing. You just haven't done it with the right person, mm-hmm. man. No, I'm kind of right there with him. It's it, no, it's the weed. Yeah, <laughs> it's not the people. No, <laughs> it's the weed. It's, it's, the, the weed. it's, it's the weed. No. Yeah. The, well, I don't care if you smoke it. It's just not my thing. Uh, JP, you get your third pick. Go for it. no. Um, <laughs> I'll go with vegetables. Um, I'm right. I there don't like it. vegetables at all. I don't know why anybody would eat them. I don't know why anybody would grow them. Yep. I I just no no. I, I'm I'm gonna go with a food too, and I'm taking this from Jeremy Joseph. Me and him both hate this equally, and shitloads of people love it. I'm gonna go with coconut. It's disgusting. I like the f- stuff that's like flavored with coconut, no. but not actual. No, that, uh, that stringy off the face yeah. of the fucking earth, and it wouldn't bother me a bit. Okay, the smell I can smell it from. I just it just makes me start to gag. It's just absolutely disgusting. Same with me and pussy. <laughs> it's really the smell <laughs> yeah. that really just just does it. Yeah. So you don't like fish, not at all. Okay. Oh, that that makes a lot more sense. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of something. Oh, uh, I'm going to go with one that a lot, that a lot of people apparently really enjoy this and I really fucking don't. And that is flying. I hate it. Oh, me too. I'm terrified. Me of it. too. So I've been watching, I've been watching this, uh, YouTube series called it's a mentor pilot. Uh huh. M E N T O U R. Okay. He's British. Okay. But, uh, it's about, he's a pilot and it's about, horrific plane crashes and then he delves into why this happened and goes yeah, fuck through that. All. dude i didn't want to fly before i sure the fuck don't want to fly now <laughs> i know and i'm with you on that one jeremy builds planes uh-huh. and he another doesn't. reason and i he, know and that's <laughs> why he doesn't like it <laughs> he's seen the people that put these things together <laughs> that's true i actually don't have any kind of fear of flying uh the problem is is that to make money they have to put the most people they can on there if I could fly first class everywhere I went, I 
wouldn't have a problem with it at all. Yeah. But I can't. That's right. Uh, let's see. JP. I've been permanently banned. <laughs> JP, <laughs> your, your fourth pick, my buddy. fourth pick. Yep. <laughs> no. Okay. I know it's a joke, but it's a bad one. Women's sports. Nobody likes those. Some people do. No. And I don't not like them because they're women, but I don't like them because they're women. <laughs> no, it's not. I don't want to watch women. I don't. Sports. You can. Like, you know, nobody likes women's sports because nobody goes to them or watches including them, including women, including right. women. Okay, so. But uh, some uh, people love it. I'll let it. I'll let it slide, even though I it's could not. Say this. It's not. No, <laughs> no. Uh, Jeremy, you get your last two picks, buddy. Tyler Perry movies. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I love Medea. <laughs> oh. I love me a good Medea movie. Oh, of course you do. <laughs> boo, boo. A Medea Halloween uh-huh. is my favorite. Uh huh. That's uh-huh. a good one. Do people really like Tyler Perry movies? Fuck yeah, they do. <laughs> I love them. I'm sure dude. you do. You got to smoke a lot of weed to watch them. Medea, Medea is funny as fuck, <laughs> oh, bro. Whatever. And your last pick there, Jeremy. I'm NASCAR. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> that was the sleeper yeah. that I was hoping would come back. God dang Just it. Just auto racing in general. I know, right. but it, that's the most that's the most popular one. It's, yeah. it's technically the most popular sport in the United States, and it's not even a fucking sport. All right, JP, your last pick. Okay. No. <sighs> Baseball. Yeah. Baseball. I fucking, dude, I hate it. I yeah. hate it. I don't know what the appeal is. It's America's pastime. Man. Yeah, it's really not. Um, this is going to be, a, 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 this is, this one's, I want to pick this. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> no, it's not that. No. Uh, I love those. Um, <laughs> uh, it's going to be weird. And there's a, there's a story around it. I, uh, I really don't listen to music. I don't. Anywhere that's I that's fucking makes perfect sense. I I, I listen to podcasts. It makes perfect everywhere sense, I go. No the wonder you're only such a time, tool. The only time I listen to music is when I'm at work because it's on the speakers, and if my well, wife is in the car. I think I know why, Scotty. It's because you consider yourself a musician first, <laughs> bull rider right, second, right. bull rider second, MMA and, fighter and you're third. like, if it's not my music, it ain't music. That's, <laughs> that's, right. that's really the attitude that you carry music. on that. Yeah, hmm. I don't. It's just it's something that's, that's honest. Doesn't surprise me. I just don't. I, okay. Like I have one genre of music that I that I will listen to right now, and it's there's <laughs> it's, no it's, way that it's the theme gonna song to this you. podcast. <laughs> no, it's the early two thousands punk. That's what I like right now. Nobody's gonna vote for you, man. I know you That's and emo. Huh? Shitty list. I, I mean, you and emo Phillips. I, I are guess. sitting around listening. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'll tell. I, no, I'm, you already said music. It's I'll, too late. I'll do this. I'm gonna go with the Beatles. That's that's actually a, a probably a more accurate one. I'm gonna go with the Beatles. Okay. Uh, okay. Taking it. Final pick, the Beatles. Okay. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is our draft for this week. You can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote uh, for the list that has some of the things that you hate that a lot of people really love by clicking on the corresponding emoji. Uh, Whoever wins gets a, I don't know, a hug and tug from JP next week. Fantastic. Fantastic. I hope I win. Maybe. Oh. Oh, but here we go, guys. This is my favorite part of every single episode, and especially when Jeremy Joseph is here. This is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's back. Thank God. This is our laughing on the sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. Yeah. That's right, Scotty. On uh, March 27th, 1977, at the Los Rodeos Airport on the Spanish island of Tenerife. A uh, KLM flight 4805, a Boeing 747, initiated its takeoff down the runway. Uh, the only problem is that uh, Pan Am flight 1736 was still on the fucking runway. <laughs> uh, it's not like they could really overlook it because it also was a Boeing 747, at the time the largest commercial aircraft 
ever made. So uh, apparently the pilot went down the runway, saw it, and went, fuck it, I'm going for it. (laughs) (laughs) Now, you ain't going to believe this, but they smashed into each other. Oh, no. Uh, The collision and uh, resulting fire wound up killing 538 people and injured the remaining 61. Uh, and now your child can recreate the magic of this moment <laughs> using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, you want to play chicken? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my biggest fear uh, ever. Uh, they didn't even get off the ground. <laughs> How do you? It was it was facing him, <laughs> too. It was a head-on, well, like, kind of to the side. But... Was it just like, well, they said I'm clear to take off. I mean, I know it doesn't look like I am, but they said I was. They're higher than I am. They Jesus. must be able to see something I don't. It was the 70s. Uh, it's true. Anyways. Lots of cocaine involved. All right. Well, this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is, would you rather have to flip off every fifth person that you encounter or... Be the ringer on the Tard Shark show and lose. That means be completely normal and lose to special needs person on the new hit show, Tard Shark. Tard Sharks. Tard Sharks. Oh, there's plural. There's several sharks. Okay. Uh huh. Fine. Whatever. Uh, th- this is I. That's easy. I don't know. <laughs> Tard Sharks all the way. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Dude, all the way, 100%, not even close. (laughs) Yeah, I think you're right. I mean, if you get caught, I I still think it's kind of bad. Still okay. I hope you get the the at-home game as a parting gift. Yeah, for sure. (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) You Uh, didn't win, but. (laughs) (laughs) You get a prize. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, I guess I can't do it. I'm a little guy. If I flip off every right. fifth person that I see, no, I'm, I'm getting, getting my ass I'm kicked. I'm getting the shit sure. kicked out of me. For sure. And just my appearance pisses people off anyway. So right. I'm getting the shit kicked out of me as it is. All right. So, so yeah, two for the Tard Sharks. I, I'm going to be the Tard Shark loser. I, I'm afraid that I'm going to go with Tard Sharks, too, because flipping off every fifth person ain't enough. <laughs> <laughs> I like to do it every third. Yep, every, at least. <laughs> at least. <laughs> so basically, you're doing the, the flipping off voluntarily when you... Wow. He's on Tard Sharks. He's just like, fuck you. He's like going through. Yeah. Family Thanksgiving is awkward. It's awkward. It's- <laughs> Pass the fucking gravy. <laughs> Cocksucker. Yeah. Uh, I just, I don't know, man. I'm still, it just would be bad. I would feel bad for all of those. I mean, I lose, but at the same time, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to cheat to win. Like Special Olympics kind of stuff. I don't, I don't want to do that ever. But I want to live. You so. write it up. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Write it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Uh, damn, that's a good movie though. Back with uh, John Knoxville, whenever yeah. he did that, that was a yeah. great movie. It was a great movie. Didn't he do the high jump and like miss the mat? <laughs> like, like he he landed too soon. I just I just remember that there was one particular athlete who is like a stud sprinter that was in the movie. Wasn't it Kevin Hart? I probably, yeah, played it was, him. No, it wasn't Kevin Hart. It was. I thought it was. No, it played was, like the like everybody's hero that dominated the Special Olympics. Yes, but I it thought was, that was. Kevin I don't. Hart. I don't believe it was. No. I I still think it's a little unfair that Jamal Charles got to compete in the Special Olympics as a kid because he had a learning disability. <laughs> really? That was future one of the fastest guys in the NFL. <laughs> That's fucked up. He could have competed at a regular track meet. Probably. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed another great episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Jeremy, it was. I know it's only been two months, man, but I missed the hell out of you. Uh, Me too. I know man. you're not going to be on uh, every single time. You are technically a no, guest. No, no, I will not. <laughs> I, that is correct. No. Until I pay him after this episode. Uh, but no, anytime that you're you with more. Not. I don't want your fucking money. Okay, fine. Well, anytime you're more than willing to come on the show, you of course are always welcome in the seat of honor. You legend, you right. Well, for what that's worth, thanks. I guess. Um, <laughs> No, it's it's been fun. I I'm not I'm not gonna say that I I don't miss it because I don't. Um, <laughs> Thanks. But uh, no, I I mean it's it's fun to come on and do it every now and again. I'm sure. I'm still happy with the decision that I made, and I will definitely be back in the future. Good from time to time. <clears throat> awesome back to the future. 
No, that's a movie. Oh, oh. have you seen, by the way, uh -uh. that they are... Who's that guy, the Expedition... The, the Expedition on, Unknown? Yeah. Yeah. He's doing Josh a, Gates. a series to find all six of the DeLoreans from Back to the Future. Oh, oh no it's, shit. That's cool. You, there's two of them that are missing. They know where four of them are. Wow. And yeah, it's it's kind of cool. That is kind of neat. Well, cool. Well, anyways, guys, thank you guys so very, very much. Uh, JP, thank you for coming on whenever Absolutely. you can, too. We love, love having you on. I love it. Um, and uh, next week, uh, Derek should be back, uh, barring a, uh, a crash uh, plane uh, thing. Yeah. Ugh, cross fingers. Um, but anyways, I hope he keeps making it, making his house payments. Cause I like staying there. I'm sure you do. <laughs> uh, but guys keep doing what you're doing. We sincerely do appreciate it. Uh, again, uh, TikTok's picks that pissed off at us. So if you haven't seen some of our videos in a while, that's probably because, uh, yeah, they don't, they don't like us. So you can go and check us out at laughing on the sidelines on TikTok. And uh, we appreciate you commenting and sharing and liking uh, what we share. That's how we grow, and uh, we are certainly still doing that. So thank you guys so very much. But as we always like to say, guys, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us, I hope a giant hooking man gives you the finger and then flips you off. <laughs> if you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. Get her done. <laughs> Speaking of hack comedians. <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing, assholes. We will see you all later. Take care.